in this video, we are going to give our game a little bit more feel. We're going to use some learning tools and we're going to get a player model and bring the model in and use that for our ship instead of just this generic cube. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start in Unity this time and we are going to grab ourselves a free model. So one thing that's nice is if we go to a new project, I want to say it is. Here we go, new project. You know what? Let's not close this down. I'm going to go ahead and just start up a new Unity so that way I don't close this down. And we are going to look at the Learn tab. And the Learn tab has a nice little space shooter tutorial that we're going to steal stuff from. So we'll start this up. It's going to give us a nice space shooter tutorial learning lesson that we could learn from. But it's also got a ship and some meteors we're going to steal later. But for now, we're here for the ship. So wait for it to finish and wait for it to finish and still wait for it to finish, apparently. And wait for it to finish. I might cut that out. I don't know. And now we are in the space shoot shooter tutorial and we are going to steal a model. So what do we want? I'm going to steal the vehicle enemy. I actually like the way this one works for our lander. So we are going to steal it. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Do we have a prefab we can steal? Let's find out. Uh, done player. Uh, let's see. We have some stuff we could steal from here. Look at that. We've got some sound. We've got, uh, but we already have our own player controller script. Let's just steal the model. So we'll go back to our models. We'll find our vehicle enemy. And we're going to go ahead and we are going to export. And so to grab all of our stuff we need. We're going to go ahead and export it out. We're going to pull this to, I'll make a new folder on my desktop called temp. And we'll call this ship. And there we go. We exported the package. Now we have a new package we can import. We're going to close that down. We'll go back to our project and we'll pull it in. So we'll go to assets, import package. Can we try that again? Assets, import package, custom package, ship. And it's going to pull it in. We'll import it in. And there we go. Now we have two more materials for our ship. We have our models folder, which has our vehicle enemy ship in it. And uh, we have our textures, which is our textures for our ship. We have a junkyard. Oh, we have a junkyard um, a cube map. That's kind of cool. We don't need that, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. But we have our ship. Let's grab our player prefab. We have our cube, which is our mesh. We'll just swap this out for a vehicle like that. And there we go. We have our vehicle. Now, yeah, it looks ugly because it's bright red. And we have our old material on it. So let's swap out our material. Let's figure out where that's hiding at. Uh, right here, materials, material player. And that's going to be our vehicle material. Where is that at? Uh, vehicle, enemy, ship, metal material. Can't I just drag it and drop it over here like this? Like, bloop. There we go. There's our ship. Granted, it's rotated horribly, horribly wrong. And this is kind of where we're going to run into an issue, I think. Let's find out. So let's grab our rotate tool and rotate our ship like that. So what? We're looking at negative 90. There we go. And let's hit play. Let's see what happens. See if we run into any issues with our ship. Uh, yeah, look at that. It is falling in the wrong direction. I have a feeling it's falling because we've rotated it, which means we now have a different up angle. So let's go ahead and hit play again. And up, yeah, so you'll notice it works fine. The problem is our ship itself is rotated. Let's easily fix this. We will going to go ahead and do a player, and we will add a empty child underneath it. And this will be the mesh for the ship. And we'll go ahead and just grab the mesh itself. So right here. And we'll drop it over to there. Can you not? You're not going to let me do it, are you? Nope. Not going to let me do it. How rude. Because we want the box collider on there, and we want the ship on there, and we want the mesh render on there. And it's not going to let us... Let's see. Can we... Ooh, we can copy the component. That might work. And then can we paste the component? Uh, let's see. Paste component as new. Oh, there we go. That's half of it. Let's copy this component. We're going to go ahead and paste the component is new. Oh, there's our mesh. So we have our mesh filter, which we don't need anymore. So we'll remove this. 
We actually don't need the box collider because we're going to do a collider for the actual ship. It. Eh, should we do a box? Ah, we'll keep a box collider. Yeah, we'll keep the box collider. Copy component. And we'll paste this in here. There we go. We don't need the box collider on here anymore. And we don't need the mesh render on here anymore. So the only things we have left is a rigid body on the player itself and our script. Probably don't need the rigid body on here either. So let me go ahead and remove that component. And oh, I just I removed it. Seriously? Oh, well, we'll add a new rigid body. See if we can remember our code. Let's see. 0 0.3, 0 0.3, gravity, freeze our rotation. One for the mass. Aha, that's close enough. Player still needs a rigid body. So let's uh, fix that. So we'll grab this, grab the rigid body. Uh, of course, this makes it hard. So there we go. We grab the rigid body off of the mesh, which is right here. And this is the ship mesh. We'll just rename it ship mesh. There we go. Let's go ahead and update our prefab. Let's hit play again. Let's see how much broke. Hopefully nothing. Hopefully everything works the same. Yep, everything works the same, except now we can actually go into our mesh and rotate the mesh 90 degrees. And we should have it working properly. There we go. See? That is one thing to keep in mind when you are building stuff, especially in Unity, because things are built around the game object hierarchy. It's a little more difficult to reparent and reorganize things. Um... With Unreal Engine, you can just simply add like a new parent. Well, we could have just reparented this whole thing under another game object, I guess. But then you've got a whole other set of hierarchies. With Blueprints, everything's encapsulated a little bit better together. But as you saw, not that big of a deal. Let's fix our box collider while we're here. And the nice thing is there's a really simple edit collider button that lets us do this. And bam, done. Look at that. Really simple. We now have our box collider actually matching around what our item looks like. See? A little better. Now we have a ship. Well, it wasn't hard. Good. Simple. This video hopefully will not take long. And uh, that's all I wanted to do for this one. Just get our ship in here. Get our ship working. Um, get it some sort of a um, mesh import to show you how easy it is to use existing resources, both for Unity and Unreal. And... Take those assets that they provide to you and pull it into your own project. And speaking of Unreal, we should probably do it in Unreal as well. So let's go back. We're going to want to do the same thing. Now that we know what we're doing, we have our mesh, we have our player. We're going to grab it from somewhere else. We're going to put it on and set it up. Let's actually grab our mesh. Our mesh is going to be inside of our content examples. This is one of the example projects that comes in the Learn tab, just like we have a Learn tab with Unity. And the content examples is actually really nice because it's very, very 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 large so we'll go ahead and let this load up and then once it loads we will uh steal stuff from it Now that we blah blah blah, microphone clear. Now that we are in our content examples, we are going to steal our ship inside of one of the maps. If I can find the maps, do do do. Inside of the maps is an input example for blueprint. We're going to grab that map, open it up, and inside of here is a nice little ship, which is actually height. Oh, that's the player down here. So we have a little ship in this example down here that I want to steal. So let's see, ship controller. Let's edit this. And then we'll go to our viewport. Do, 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 and that right there. I want to steal that ship right there. So pixel player. Let's zoom into it. Here we go. Pixel player I want to take out. So we're going to go ahead and migrate this out. It's going to grab everything it needs. So it's going to grab its materials and its mesh. And we're going to migrate it into our UE4 project. So do, what do we call that one? Lunar Lander. Where? Uh oh, I don't even remember. I saved that. Oh, there we go. Lunar Lander Live Content, and we'll save it in there. It's gonna export it out, and we are good to go there. So let's go ahead and. Um, one other thing we should have grabbed is the actual 
particle effect for the thruster. I'm realizing right now. So do do here is this. Uh, da, da, da. So let's see if we actually have that in here. Because we are going to need a particle effect for our thruster. So what do, what was that called? That's a good point. What the heck was that thing called? Uh, pixel engine. Here we go. I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah, there we go. Pixel engine. So we need our thruster engine. So let's go ahead and grab that while we're in here too so we don't have to find that later. So here's the pixel engine. We'll go ahead and same thing. Migrate. It's going to grab our effect and a material and we'll put it in the same place. There we go. So that's migrated. Now that should be done. We can go back to our Unreal Engine project. We can go to our content, explore, and there we go. Example content, input examples, effects, materials, and meshes. So here's our mesh for our player. And here is the material for the player and for our uh, effect. And then our effect itself. Let's grab our player itself. Let's edit our blueprint for the player. Let's grab him. Let's change his mesh to the pixel player. If we look in here, look, bam, simple as that. There's our, whoops, where'd it go? There's our pixel player. And there's our default materials for it, which we can adjust if needed. We go back into our game. We will find it's in there. Now it is rotated improperly. So we're going to need to rotate that. So let's go back into our player and let's rotate it. And you'll notice we can't. We can't rotate it because, again, it's the default. So it's going to take its rotation from inside of our world, which is not what we want. We kind of just have a badly rotated character, so we want to change it. So we're going to add a scene component, reparent it. So this will be our new root. This is like a base game object in Unity. And we'll go ahead and rotate our player. And what was the way we wanted it rotated? If Let's see, where is this? is our map. Let's zoom in. Rotate tool. And we're going to want it 90 on the Z. So we'll undo that. Go back to our blueprint. Yes, yeah, close stuff we don't need for now. There we go. And take our player, and we are going to want to rotate. What was it? 90 on the Z? I don't know. Let's find out. There we go. 90 on the Z. Okay. Let's hit play. I'm pretty sure we're going to have some problems. One of them is, wow, look at that. That's a bit small. Let's fix that. And that's probably due to this right here. Our root scale is 1, but this scale is smaller. Let's save that. And let's play it again. And eh, I don't know. What do you think? Still a little small? Yeah, it's a little small. Let's make it 1.5. And let's compile that and test it again. There we go. That's a little better. At least matches our platforms a little better. One thing, though, it's kind of hard to see. It's kind of hard to see because let's find out. Let's grab our player. Let's find his meshes. Um, that is our default player, our actual material. Is right here, which is, do, 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 is it this one? Do, do, where is the material on our player? Oh, that's because, ah, that's funny. It's still using my default glowing red material player for the element instead of the default right here. That's funny. That's an interesting thing I've never seen them do. Okay, so actually now if we were to save this, you're going to find it's really hard to see because it's not a missive, but we can fix that. Uh, we can find our material, and here's our emissive color, and do, 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 do. what's the easiest way of doing this? Probably bumping it up. Let's find out. Let's do a multiply. We'll multiply by one into our emissive. Let's see if that helped at all. I uh, don't know. Let's, let's, try, let's try five, because why not? If one number doesn't work, try a higher number. Yeah, see, it's still a low number. It's not really going to work very well, is it? Do we really need, like... Yeah, because, see, that's the alpha. Can we just do this? Ooh, that's bright. Uh, let's find out. Oh, that's definitely brighter. Okay. I like it. That'll work. I mean, it's it's visible enough, right? Everyone agrees with that? Okay, good. Everyone agrees with that. If we want it even brighter, I mean, we could do something like 2 and overdrive it. This should make it super bright. I kind of like the red, though. You know what? I kind of like the red also. So I think I'm going to switch this back to the player. I kind of like the red instead of the blue. Yeah, look at that. That looks like kind of like an old arcade spaceship, right? 
And one thing you'll notice, which is kind of cool, is we didn't have to actually adjust the collider. The ship itself, the mesh, if we were to pull it up and look at our collision for it, has its own collider built into it from the mesh um, since we imported it from the existing uh, project. It already has a collision mesh, you can see, which they have built around it. So we didn't have to set anything up. We already have a nice collision mesh set around it. Um, so we're good. So that is going to wrap up that video. Again, really simple. Just wanted to get a model in there. That way we have something working that looks a little bit better than our square.